knowledge creates new dreams and passion. It brings new ideas and perspectives. It brings new challenges and obstacles. What we wanted to be then has shaped who we are now. Hello everybody and welcome to Now and Then, the show where we explore the dichotomy between what we wanted to be when we were growing up and what we want to be now. I'm your talking head, Chris Nere, and th with me today is Miranda Dietrich. Why don't you tell us a little about yourself, Miranda? Um, first, I want to say thank you for having me. And right now I'm a full-time college student. I go Monday through Thursday. I go to school from seven. I wake up at five, leave school at one, go home, do homework, relax. That's all I do. No jobs right now. I'm working. So you're thinking about a major? Yes, um, graphic design, digital art. It's a very broad subject, so I can do many different things in it, like video game design, advertising, t-shirts, things like that. Have you ever worked in a shop or wanted to work in a shop that makes prints, t-shirts, or does I've never that? worked in a shop. They had a class at my school, and I took it for like a day. And I, then I dropped, I got out because I didn't like it. <laughs> Screen printing, maybe? Yeah, uh. something like that. I didn't like it. So I just, you know, dropped it. I was like, hmm. So I don't think I want to do clothes. More maybe video games because I'm very into that. So what's subject. inspired you? What's made you want to get into that career path? Um, so uh, from a very young age, I've always loved art. I haven't, well, I didn't love it. But my mom thought I was very creative. So she put me in classes and I was in them from very young age to high school. And I took normal art classes, you know, drawing, painting, everything like that. And then I just didn't like it. I'd get frustrated. So I just gave up. And then my, I found a class here for digital art. And I was like, I'll try that. And I love it way more. Because I have more control of my art on a screen than I do with my hands, like painting and stuff. So when you want to compare maybe education here at Fullerton College, how would you compare that to maybe YouTube education? It's more hands-on in person, you know? You can ask the teacher questions, and on YouTube you can't. You know, you're just kind of there. Say you had a teacher that kind of just went by the book and they didn't really have an answer for what you would do. Would you think you'd find the answer on the internet? Oh, yeah, you can find anything on the internet. <laughs> That's what I mean, <laughs> okay. So, how has FJC helped you with your career goals so far? It's a starting point. It made me finally decide what I want to do with the rest of my life. So that was good, and I, I'm happy that FJC did that for me. But it's just, I'm just doing my generals right now, so nothing too big. It's just a starting point. Okay. So when you talk about art, what, what do you go for mainly? What type of material are you using or working with? Um, well, for computers, I use Photoshop, Illustrator, and Design. And for hands-on, I usually, I usually work with, like, pens, pointillism, because I just can't work with pencils. They make me mad. And paint makes me mad because I can't even, I can't, I don't know, I just can't control it. So just, you know, we, the basics, nothing too crazy. Okay, so you were going to go back in the future. Would you change anything about yourself? Go back in the future? I mean, back in time, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, back to the future. Yes. <laughs> um, no, I wouldn't change anything because, I mean, I am, you know, who I am. So. All right. And uh, what... What did you want to be when you were younger before before even realizing, like, hey, I'm going to do art? Um, I wanted to be a cat, and then I wanted to do nails because I love going to the nail place with my mom. And just, you know, little things that all kids want to do. Okay. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back after this commercial.
Welcome back to Now and Then, the show where we get to the root of our students' aspirations. I'm your host, Chris Neve. With me is still Miranda Dietrich. So Miranda, let's talk about college. Okay. What are you, what are you planning on doing after this school, maybe? Going straight to a four-year. I can't have any break time because then I know I'll get lazy and I won't want to go back because <laughs> I hate school. But I'm going to go straight to a four-year. Definitely not in California because I hate the heat. And see what happens. I'm not sure what college yet, though. Okay. Somewhere where it's cold. Did you Seattle. Seattle. In Washington. That'd be nice. Did your parents go to school around here? No, both of my parents did not go to college. Neither? Neither. So you said they settled earlier. Yeah, so my mom's in health insurance and my dad was a construction worker. So they found something easier that they want to do, but that's not you, right? No, it's not me. Well, my dad went straight to the Navy after high school. So he kind of just went, you know, did that. And no, I want to do something I like and I love getting getting up every morning and happy with what I'm doing. You said you get up at 5 a.m. What do you have to do so early? I have to, I live in Chino Hills. Okay. I have to drive very far to get here. I could go to Mount Sac, but okay. I don't want to. So very ambitious, I see you. Mm -hmm. All right. I guess, yeah. And do you have any people that inspire you to do the great things that you're doing? Mm. I mean, my mom is very inspiring. She's a great woman. She always, when she sets her mind to something, she'll do it. She's very inspiring, but no one really with like the same determination as me as creative, you know, not saying I'm very creative, but my family's not very creative. <laughs> you know, they're very just basic, kind of go with the flow and kind of just do what they're supposed to do. Hmm. Do you have maybe like a, a company or some type of artist that inspires you? He's such a, an, like an easy person to say because everybody knows him, but Vincent Van Gogh is amazing. I love him. I love all his artwork. I did a whole project on him. He's great. He's such an easy person to say, though, you know. Do you see yourself, you know, working for, like, a really big company later? Do you want to do your own company, maybe? I probably would not want to do my own company. I don't like taking charge so much. Uh, so, probably not. Okay. I'll probably work for a company. So, let's say five years from now, what company do you see yourself working for? I have no idea. <laughs> That's a very big question. I No, I'm just going to go with it, you know. I'm not going to put my mind on one company you know because some yeah. more things could come up along the way All right. so you're gonna bounce around maybe with your digital art and then you, you maybe you'll go back into screen printing if you like it if that yeah if it's what i want to do but we'll see you know there's so many things i could do with the career i'm choosing okay and have you taken any photography type classes i took a photography class in high school and i failed <laughs> because i was just not into it it just, I thought it would be funner than it was. It just it wasn't. I didn't like it at all. Was it black I think and white? It's because, yeah. I think it's because the teacher wanted us to do certain projects how he wanted it, and we couldn't be very creative. That's why I didn't like it. And what about your art instructor right now? She's great. She lets us do anything we want. But you just like kind of, you're just focused. But I'm trying to do what she wants us to do. Like she says we can do all this stuff, but I'll try to keep it how exactly what she wants it. She doesn't mind if like we go crazy because I see people do it all the time. I just don't want to because I'm scared that you know I'll go too crazy and it's not what she wants. Okay, so you're the color inside the line kind of person. Mm -hmm. All right, not bad. Keep <laughs> keep doing what you got to do. Yeah. All right. Do you have any uh, words of wisdom for anyone that's following in your footsteps? Just do what you want to do. Don't let anybody tell you what you should do. You know, do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. And <laughs> continue with doing what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. uh, you're g for sure going to stay with this career, you think? Hopefully. You know, I change my mind every day. So. Okay. That's a good call. That's all the time we have, unfortunately. Thank you, Miranda. I've been your host, Chris Nere, and this has been Now and Then. Good night.